No child is born to die, and no mother should die, giving life. We need to come together. Hi, I'm Dr. Francis Oneka, the Head of Department, Maternal and Child Health Services at St. Joseph's Hospital, Maya Church. And in the department, we, we have the joy of seeing mothers receive newborn. Annually, we have about 2,000 deliveries in, uh, from the past years. The number has been growing steadily. There is also a high rate of teenage pregnancy, which is at 18.2% as of the latest statistics. The mothers we receive are mainly from, referred from the lower facilities within the district, as well as neighboring districts such as Koboko and Yumbe. The mothers that uh, have complications in delivery the biggest contributor, actually, the, the biggest cause of complicated deliveries are obstructed labor. They contribute the, the biggest number to, to the complications, and it stands at 43%. And this is the risk factor for neonatal sepsis and also birth asphyxia. So these babies, upon delivery, are admitted to our special care unit. No child! is born to die and no mother should die giving life we need to come together to make a difference everyone so you're welcome to the special care unit of saint joseph hospital maracha i'm dr kaban alphonse i serve as the medical director and chief executive officer of this hospital this the special care unit was started in 2018 following a segment in financial year 1617 that portrayed Maracha district being the fourth worst place to be born as a child. In that financial year, the risk of a newborn dying was 39 in 1,000 life births. There were several reasons that were causing the death of the newborn, including the mothers uh, getting pregnant early, so they were having a complicated labor that warranted operations and of come first day after trying to deliver from home. The second was for the mothers are uh, not attending at Nendo as advised by the ministry and of course they are trying to labor at home so they could delay to access the facilities and of course they delay within the facilities. The third of death every fine on top every financial year is the death of the newborn. So they said, well, let us try something. We, in that year, started this special care unit that in only one financial had the impact of reducing the death of the newborn from 39 in 1,000 life births to only 26 in 1,000 life births in the financial year was 17 and 18. So this special care unit has helped to save uh, a good number of lives. But as we can see here, it is deficient of equipment. We have incubators for keeping the very small newborns like this one here. This is 19th century equipment. We also have deficiency in uh, oxygen consecrator. We will need a radiant coma, which we do not have, a phototherapy machine, and several other equipment that we would really need for a special care unit. So, but even with this, the staffs of the hospital are so committed improve the quality of services to the newborns and together now with the community, the community in its own has offered three plus acres of land for the development of the hospital in the agency care unit. But now, because we do not have the resources to construct uh, a proper, modern, equipped neonatal intensive care unit, the parish, together with the community, are who are there and the board have organized fundraising activities. The first activity is going to be a fundraising run on the 14th of December 2019, aimed at uh, mobilizing resources to include financial resources, uh, 500 million to construct that new body unit, to also mobilize equipment, to also raise awareness. So we intend to start construction of the integrated care unit in the financial year 2020, 
it of essential ones. If nothing is done, we all chose to do nothing. Hundreds of families and financial years will suffer the burden and agony of having to have no joy of having that life child at their home. So we all have a step to play to spread the, the news about the life of the child of Russia and what together we can do to establish the modern in the domestic security. <laughs> and sisters who are out there, we need your support. We need your support. They're looking at us. God is looking at your heart. Give us a hand. Thank you very much. 